Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Warrior Weekly. I'm your host, Donald Kenny for Kung Fu. Jesse Kirby, Lead Martial Arts and MMA. And Robbie Page, Pro Wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo. Today we're going to give you more phenomenal martial arts instruction the way only Dragon Warrior Weekly can provide it. Ah! Ah! Alright, today's episode we're going to go over some stretches for agility and we're going to work on some rolls, some evades, some footwork and get these uh, students of ours uh, a good cardio workout. Um, Stamina and endurance is a big key in martial arts. Um, you got to have the win, you got to have the endurance to keep going, and you got to have the fortitude, the stamina to tough it out. So today we're going to go over some of those things. And uh, first stretch we're going to do, we're going to take the front leg and we're going to bend it in front of oh. us. We're going to keep that leg straight in the back. And we're going to try to touch our nose or our forehead to our knee. And that's going to give you a nice big stretch all the way down the hamstring back to your, your butt. And we're going to switch it. Both legs. We're bring one leg up. It's almost like the butterfly, but you're gonna push down just one leg. That's gonna stretch groin muscle, inside, thigh. And you definitely feel it. Alright, switch. <clears throat> back like this and we're going to lay back. You're going to feel a big pull on your quad muscle. You're going to stretch out the power in your legs. That's what you use for agility to jump. And trust me, I've had two knee surgeries, so stretching is a big key into everything you do. Big part of training. Quite a few other exercises, but we'll just stick with those ones for today. You know, you would like to do like three sets of 10, usually hold it for 10 to 30 seconds. Usually get a nice sweat going. Ugh. All right, now for footwork, <coughs> gotta be able to Move on your toes and not be flat footed. So when you're in your fighting stance, you want to be able to rock back and forth just standing here. And use your toes. And if you're moving back and forth, you're going to come up off your feet. You want to be able to move back and forth. All right, stop. Switch. Rock on your toes. Keep your balance. All right. Bounce back and forth. <coughs> Stop. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now instead of back and forth, we're going to go side to side. 
and we're gonna move up as we do it. And then back. All right, ready? Go forward. Go. Boom. Going in the zigzag with your feet. Do double step, so you're going forward and back, but you're going to go forward twice, back twice. Keep your feet separated. Don't be, you was hopping like a bunny rabbit like this. All right, we're not hopping like a bunny rabbit. All right, keep your feet apart. All right, go. Go forward. Switch. Right. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. Right. I will use Justice as the front of the line. Everybody else, line up right here behind him. All right. One more time. All right. So first thing we're going to do is a forward roll. You're gonna roll off your shoulder and you stand back up into your fighting stance. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right shoulder first, get back in line and then do it with the left. Go. Good. Right shoulder. All right, work on it. Good. Good. Go ahead, David. Yep. Roll off your shoulder. There you go. Up to your face stance. All the way up. Good. Next. Good. Left shoulder this time. Yep. Oh, this is rough. Turn your body. Feet with the left. What's up? Yeah. Turn your body. This way. Roll off your left shoulder. Okay. You say so. Yeah. Good. That's, That's the opposite. You got right and left. Go ahead. Rolled off his right. It's all good. Still roll good though. There you go. Staying all the way up. Back in line. All right, next one. Side rolls. All right. Sometimes this is going to be difficult because you're going to be rolling off your forearm and your knee. All right. To the right. To the left, you want to stay facing forward. So if I'm in front of you, come here. You're rolling this way. So if I'm coming at you, roll off your shoulder this way. See, you're rolling. Yep. Try it. What we're here for to work on it. So, get the hang of it. Face that way. You're not rolling off your shoulder, you're rolling off your arm. There you go. Go ahead. There you go. Face that way. Go ahead. There you go. Remember, you're facing this way. When you get up, you face that way. Good. Now you're gonna roll this way, and when you get up, you'll be facing me. So you're going off the opposite shoulder. Now turn this way. Face me. And then you're rolling this way, like this. Yep, just like that. 
but you want to be facing me when you get up. This feels awkward. It feels awkward, but trust me, it's it's a roll. There you go. That ain't bad. Go ahead, David. There you go. Put a little bit more momentum in there, and you'll get all the way over. There you go. Hold it. Other way. Other way. You're gonna roll look like this. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, just like that. Come on. Face me. Okay. Roll. Almost. Good try. Go. Alright, last one. Back roll. Alright, you're gonna roll off your back. Just fall back. Yeah, Go down to your butt. Just fall down to your butt. Alright. Seriously. Fall down to your butt. There you go. That's all you gotta do. Look at that. There you go. There you go. Keep going, keep going. Good. Use, some, use your momentum. Throw yourself back faster. Back up to your feet. Good job. One more time. Good. Keep going, keep going. Good. Good. Go, 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 go. Good. Good. All right. Last thing. We got time. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're going to side shuffle our feet. All right. So if we were going in a circle, so you're going to follow me around, we're going this way in a circle. Shuffling your feet. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. All right. When I say switch, you're going to go this way. All right. So one person's going to start, then the next person, and we're all going to be in a circle eventually. All right. Go. 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 Spread out. Be so close. Shuffle your feet. Get low. Get low. Dip down when you do it. Switch. Go the other way. Dip down. Dip down. Dip down. Dip down. Five. J. Forward roll. DJ. Forward roll. Holding side roll. Good try. Justice back roll. Do it again towards the camera. We need content. Whoa. David. Side roll. This way. This way. Good. Try right, not to hit the camera. Line up. Robert Page wants to thank you for joining us today. Uh, hopefully you learned a little something about forward, side, back rolls, a little bit of footwork. You know, work on that at home. And if you got any other questions, you know, uh, get a hold of Jesse Kirby, Donald Kenny, or myself on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube, Dragon Warrior Kung Fu. Hi, Sifu Donald Kenny. I'm the Kung Fu instructor here at Elite Martial Arts and MMA and today I'm going to be going over some stances with you. Now in a lot of traditional Kung Fu styles the stance is king. It's the, the, the key foundation because we do a lot of takedowns and taking people off of their feet 
And so one of our secrets is to not have that happen to us. All right, so this will build up your leg strength. It'll teach you to drop your center of gravity, which makes you a lot harder to knock down. That, and it'll give you more power when you're uh, throwing strikes. Okay, let's spread out here a little bit. I'll tell you what, let's stagger. Let me get um, you two take a step back. You two take a step forward. And you take a step back. All right, good. Now first we're gonna start feet almost all the way together, maybe a couple inches apart, all right? And we're gonna put hands on the hips. What we're gonna do is come up on the balls of the feet, slide the heels out like they're going to the back corners of the room. All right, now we're gonna go up on the balls of the feet and see how I squeeze my knees and my thighs together and keep my head up, all right? Now I'm gonna rotate the toes out so that they point to the corners. <coughs> and again, and I gotta keep the knees bent, guys. All right, one more, toes to the corners. Now take your heels and even them up with your toes so that your feet are facing forward. Sit down and push your knees out over your feet. Feet should be parallel facing forward like railroad tracks. Good. Don't squat all the way down. Don't squat down past your knees. All right, so you want to get as close to having level thighs as you can without dropping lower than your knees. All right, because if we're all the way squatted down, then we can't move around properly. The idea is that we're making like a low sitting pyramid. All right. Now we're going to take one side and draw it in so that there's almost no weight on the front foot. Turn around, David, go the same way as everyone else. There we go. Now we're going to lift it up. Now we're going to kick it out come into a forward lunge. So on this one, the back leg locks out straight. The forward one, again, the knee should be over the foot. We don't want to overextend and have our knee go past our toes. We want our knee to be somewhere right over top of our foot. All right, turn. Cat stance on the other side. So this is most popularly called a cat stance. Uh, some Kung Fu styles call it hanging leg or empty stance. Right? With the idea being that it's easy to lift the foot so I can block or knee or kick. Right? So all those moves are implied whenever you see this stance in martial arts. Okay? Lift. The one legged stance or a crane stance. Kick it out. Now we're in a lunge or a bow and arrow stance or a forward leaning stance. All right, bring the toe around and pull this foot back. All right, now we're in a back leaning stance. All right, weights on the back leg facing the other direction. And bring the toe in, foot around, back stance on the other side. Back, sit down, and let's do it again. Cat stance, crane stance, kick it, forward, turn, cat, crane, Lunge. Good. Turn the toes in. And back leaning. Turn the toes in. And back leaning. And 
Back into the horse. Good. time we've got heels out knees in toes out knees bent heels out knees bent toes out even it up sit down I remember you should push the knees out over the feet <laughs> good shift the weight to one side pull back cat stance There we go. Now look at yourself in the mirror. If your front foot is completely blocking your back foot, you're too narrow. Good. Bring it up. And kick it out. Toe in. Back. Now notice how I circle my foot around like that when I bring it over. Right, same thing I've been talking about. I don't want to be too narrow like this because I'm off balance. All right, so I circle it around. Now I'm going this way. Bring it up. Kick it out. Bring it in. Shift. More weight on the back leg. Toes in. Shift. More weight on the back leg. Good. Squat. Hands up. Mm. Genie in a bottle, baby. Wait, this is all right. Attention, and bow. That's it. Good job. All right, Jesse Kirby here from Elite Martial Arts MMA. I'm here with Holden. We're going to do some uh, beginner self-defense stuff for you today. Uh, so we're going to go over some wrist grabs, some shirt grabs, and maybe uh, up the back of the shirt. Not, nothing too in-depth, all right? Something that everybody can probably handle today. Um, so the first few things you wanna do is if I'm grabbing somebody like this big against somebody this big, the biggest weapon he has is what, Holden? Talking. What? Yelling. Yeah, yelling, talking, right? Because no matter how big he is or how little he is, if I'm a, a full-grown man or woman and I'm trying to grab him, I'm not just going to grab him like this, all right? He can get out maybe, try to get out. And we'll show you how to get out. But if I just really want him bad enough, I'm just going to go from here oh, no, no. And, and take him with me, all right? But, all right, the way, fix your uniform. The way he's not going to get grabbed is if he uses the loudest weapon he has, the strongest weapon he has, which is his voice, right? So you want to just don't just scream like you're like you're maybe you're at Walmart or Target or whatever, and you're at the toy section and somebody tries to grab you like this. And if the kid just starts screaming, nobody's going to pay any attention because that's just the kid screaming in toy in the toy section because he didn't get his Power Ranger or whatever he wanted. Right? But if the kid's yelling what? Help, fire, police. Help. He can yell fire. He can yell police. Now why would you yell fire, Holden? There's no fire anywhere. Because you want people's attention. Yeah, because you want people's attention. If they if he yells fire in the middle of target, people are gonna go look at him, right? If there's no fire, but they're gonna see a big guy trying to grab a kid, right? And then that they're gonna say, Oh, okay, this isn't right. So then the big guy is going to yell, and this guy didn't have to do anything, just had to scream fire really loud, or police, or help, or any of that. So we're going to do four wrist grabs, and we're going to do a shirt, 
maybe the back of the shirt, and a couple others. But the first one is gonna be this. So I'm grabbing the wrist here. He's gonna grab his own wrist, and he's gonna lift up towards where my thumb is. This is the weak spot for the grip. Now if he pulls this way, pull that way. Hard. If he pulls downwards, all right. But if he pulls this way over his own shoulder, that's the weak spot. It's just, I was grabbing the same, wasn't no different. Just from here, boom, like that. It works the same on this side, here, boom, like that. All right, over the shoulder. All right, so you grab me, one hand, like that. So I grab my own hand, lift up over my shoulder like this. All right, now that's one versus one. We're gonna do crisscross like this. He's gonna do the same thing, grab his own hand. This time he's gonna go over this shoulder. Boom, like that, all right? Cause my thumb is right here. Here, now let's go that way. All right, pull. Oh, now go this way. All right? So it's super simple if you go the right direction each time. So from here, if it's two against two like this, He's going to put his hands together and lift up over a shoulder. Go ahead. All right. He doesn't want to lift straight up because if he lifts straight up and he slips, or if I slip, or if he gets out real fast, boom. Oh, he's going to knock himself in the nose. All right. And he did my job for him. He just knocked himself out. So from here, I'm going to grab the wrist. He's going to go forward and lift up. Lift up with your elbows. With your hands like this. Boom. So he was trying to lift his whole body like this. Just move forward and lift your hands up. Boom. Real hard. Go. Boom. Like that. All right. Now, two against one. Like this. One hand, two hands against one of his hands. Lift up. Grab your hand from over top. Like that. And then lift up over your shoulder. Right. So if he goes from underneath, grab your hand underneath. And lifts up, lift up. This hand's blocking. All right, so from here, over top, then lift up. Just like that. All right, so we'll go over them really quick one more time, then we'll have everybody up here. Boom. Crisscross, like a handshake. Two against two. And two against one. Boom. But let's see him get out of it for real. So what he didn't do was, if I'm grabbing both hands, all right, he does have a couple options. He doesn't have his hands that he can use, but he has this that he can use, his mouth, and what else? I'm saying like, huh, go ahead. Where? Oh, and the bird, right? Knee and the bird, oh, like no. that, so you can do it. <laughs> From here, don't hit me, all right? I'd rather you not hit me, but I don't want you to get close, all right? Like that, see how you reacted? Go ahead. Oh, and then yell. Help, fire, please. Just yell one of them. Yell one of them. Yell fire real loud. Ready? Fire. Oh, loud. I know you're loud. Fire. Oh, good. All right, very good. All right, uh, little ones. You guys are all up. <clears throat> Hold them. We can walk around and make sure they're doing it. Right? All right, so this guy can be with this guy. Did you guys watch? You're right here. And Justin, she was there for that guy. Jake, what is it? What's your name? Jake. David, David. David, David. All right, so. EJ? Yeah, that's my name. All right. Because we can't, because we can't tell the little words and switch because both their names are David. Oh my God. Yeah, don't even say that. You're not brothers, are you? Yeah, no. All right. Well, that's okay, good. That'd be good. All right. It's like maybe she's, your parents didn't do this enough for you and then you made the same thing for them. No, like, wait, they don't have the same last name. All right. Well, this is going to be all edited out, so. All right, but, so you're going to grab, you're going to grab here, you can grab like this, you can grab like this, you can grab like this, or you can grab like this. All right, go ahead. You guys can. Justice. Yeah. Grab it. Oh, yeah. Uh, not I'm interested in what about. Oh, my God. 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 Oh
Drag it up. Put your hands up. Yep. Hold. Just walk around here. Just like watch over. Repetition. Yep. Just go back and forth. Just forth. And hold. Stand back here, buddy. There you go. So you're not. You can just watch. Make sure you don't do the same thing all the times. Over top. Grab real tight. If you mean with it, be grabbing. See some red marks on there. I don't know what he did. Grab him. He's been grabbing my veins. Oh, good. See, keep going. Two against one. Oh, hold on. This way. Lift up. And then take this hand, this shoulder. Here, and like this. Come on, back up. Over. That's under. Up, and then over. Yes. See? Good. <laughs> it's the same way, dude. Here. I know, but he's holding too tight. It's not holding too tight. Look, watch this. He's holding the same amount. Mm -hmm. Right? It's just that's where his thumb is. So you have to take this hand to this shoulder. Go. Yeah, grab your hand. You can grab your hand. Go shoulder. This way. Boom. All right, good. All right, you guys have a seat. Good job. Oh, very good. Have a seat. All right, you guys are good. Right. We're going to do a couple more. The next one we're going to do is to the shirt or lapel. It doesn't matter if they have a gi on like this or if they have just a t-shirt on or whatever. So from here, he grabs me. All right, maybe he wants my lunch money. All right, even though kids don't even have lunch money anymore. But maybe he wants my wallet, right? We're at the ATM or something. So from here, my hands go up. That's saying, no, don't hurt me, right? But it's also saying my hands are closer to his eyes, his throat, and when he does that, look, boom, oh, it's close, my knee's closer to there. So from here, my hands are up. From here, I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna swim my hand in, and then comes up on the other side. It's gotta be above his elbow, like this. I'm gonna put my hands together, turn my right foot, step back, and I'm gonna twist my upper body like that. All right, I keep my hands close to my body here and just pivot. All right, so from here he grabs, hands are up, no, don't hurt me, please. Here, under, up, here, step back, twist. Nice and strong. It's not guaranteed to work, nothing is guaranteed to work, right? I could. Like if it's self-defense, I could punch him as hard as I could, and he could just stand there and watch, look at me. So punch me as hard as you can. Boom, yeah. So if you're this small against somebody this big, you have to hit somewhere that it's going to count. Like either the throat, the eyes, yeah, the gins, right? That's going to hurt. If you just punch him in the stomach, not going to hurt. All right. All right, so let's see if he can do it. From here. Oh, wrong foot. This foot steps back. Here, step back. Boom. There you go. One more time. One more time. Step back. Oh, good. One more. Let's do it slow. Here, hands are up. Hands are up. Put hands up first. Like that. And then you go. And step back. Oh, good job. Oh, there you go. Go again. Alright, very good. Alright, feet together. Face the camera. Thank you for your beginner self-defense lesson today. We'll try to elaborate on that a little bit more next week. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Dragon Warrior Weekly. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. Fight stance!